kidney transplantation, peripheral vascular surgery, urology, both open and uh, endo-urology, then general surgery in this given. Lungs, pancreas, cornea, bone marrow, and recently this year they have done uterus transplant also. In this hospital, we do only living related and cadaver transplant. Living related is only from the relatives. It is father, mother, brother, sister, children, wife or husband can donate. Or first degree relatives can donate the organs. The second one is called cadaver transplant. Here, the brain is dead, blood supply to the brain is cut off, heart is pumping, all the organs are perfused with the blood, so these organs can be taken for transplantation. In Tamil Nadu, the government has a registry. Different hospitals, wherever they have kidney failure patients, they give their name in the registry. According to the priority, According to the first come, first uh, basis, the government allots the organs in different hospitals. We cannot just let them go and take the organ from the printed persons. Yeah, how many transplants have you done in this unit? This unit has done nearly more than 700 uh, kidney transplants. The blood group matching has to be there. For example, the recipient is group A. The donor has to be either A or O. The recipient is O. The donor has to be O. If the recipient is B, the donor has to be either B or O. If the recipient is AB, the donor can be anything, you know, A, B, A, B or O. As I mentioned to you, so many transplants we have seen very few donor related complications but legally i have to tell a few things to the donor like for example once they donate they left with one kidney so later on if they develop diabetes or hypertension there is a possibility they might lose the kidney number two after the surgery, we would advise them not to carry heavy weight for minimum six weeks. Number three, if they meet with a road traffic accident, they have only one kidney, there is a possibility they might lose the kidney. Number four, anesthesia and surgery related complications, which are very minimal. Yeah, as I mentioned to you, peripheral vascular surgery and uh, urology. Dr. Ibrahim Green is with us. He does both uh, open and endo urology. Then we have uh, general surgery in the urology. From the heart, pipes go all over the body. The blood has to reach different organs like brain, hands, intestine, and legs. Why you develop heart attack? Heart is a muscle. The blood vessels will go around it and supply the heart. When these blood vessels get blocked, the muscle becomes dead. That is how you get heart attack. What do they do? Either they open up the blood vessel, angioplasty and stenting, or they, get, they, do, they do the bypass. Similarly, the blood vessels going to the brain can get blocked up, which can cause stroke. The blood vessel going to the intestine can get blocked, so the people will get abdominal pain. When the blood vessels going to the legs are getting blocked, then they develop leg pain. And if you don't treat it early, they might lose the leg infection because there is no blood supply to the legs. Sometimes the blood vessels, the blood inside the blood vessels, automatically get blocked up or it is clogged. 
that is called thrombosis. When this happens, they need it's an emergency. It has to be done immediately, otherwise the organ will be lost. The other vascular common thing is the blood vessel become it become it bulges. It's called aneurysm. For example, in diabetes, the elasticity of the blood vessel is gone, so it become bulges. A little balloon at some stage find a little of blood going into the balloon that the blood vessel will be rupture. That is an emergency, it has to be dealt with immediately, otherwise, we might lose the patient. These are the common peripheral vascular diseases. These are the arterial diseases. The other one is called it venous disease. Right? Arteries are the one which carry the good blood, and the veins are the one which carry the bad blood. Back to the comes of purification. In this bad blood vessel, the two common diseases are number one is varicose veins, number two is deep vein thrombosis. Now, depending on which organ is affected, for example, blood vessel going to the brain is affected, then they come with the stroke. Blood vessel going to the intestine is affected, they come with abdominal pain, usually immediately after taking the food. Why? After taking the food, the intestine needs a lot of blood for digestion. When there is a blockage to the blood vessel, not enough blood is reaching the intestine, that is how they get the pain. In the legs, for example, the pain comes when they walk. For example, 100 yards, 200 yards, when they walk, they develop calf pain, usually below the knee, that is behind the knee, the calf muscle. Why they develop pain? A similar thing, oxygenation is less to that part of the muscle which causes pain. And once they stop, the pain goes away. The reason being no need for oxygen. Initially, when they walk, the pain comes. If they don't get proper treatment, when they're lying down, the pain comes. That is called the rest pain. Even then, there is no treatment. Eventually, they develop leg wound, which is which will not heal and very difficult to uh, deal with it, which is a type of amputation. The commonest cause this in this country is diabetes. You know in India diabetes is the most common and it is growing very fast and uh, we are expecting in 2025 India will be having the largest population of diabetic patients on earth. Once they have diabetes, there is a high chance of pain from after it. Number two is high blood pressure. They are prone for peripheral vascular disease. Number three, third most common is smoking. People who smoke eventually end up in peripheral vascular disease. Number four is obese patients. Obese patients, we don't take care of the body. The blood vessels will become blocked up, reduced in size, and eventually leads to peripheral vascular disease. Number five is heart disease. As I mentioned to you earlier, when the blood vessel to the heart muscle is affected, there is a high chance, a possibility of peripheral disease, peripheral blood vessels getting blocked up because of uh, you know these diseases. So these are the commonest causes of peripheral vascular disease. Varicose veins. Usually, you can see them with the, you know, bulging veins on the legs. Now, commonly, usually they come to a doctor because of swelling of the leg. Number two is chronic ache pain. They won't be able to describe the pain. They feel vague pain all over the leg. They are not able to sleep, uh, you know, during the night time or daytime time they stand for a long time, especially human cooking, they stand for a long time. These are the usual symptoms. Later on, varicose veins they come with leg ulcers usually on the inner side of the leg that is the leg stage these are the symptoms usually come to a doctor with varicose veins early stage we can treat them conservatively by stockings with medications later stage we need either uh, you know like laser endovascular treatment or surgical intervention. Nowadays in this unit we don't do any surgical interventions. We do endovascular or laser treatment. They come in the morning, we do the procedure in the local, the same evening they can get discharged or the next day morning. 
we will be able to go back to work within one or two years. Deep end thrombosis, early stage, immediately we can treat conservatively, we can give drugs, medicines to dissolve the, uh, you know, the thrombus. Or, depending on the age group, in that age group, it needs immediate attention to avoid chronic medicines and issues. Either by this, you know, thrombolysis, we remove the thrombus by giving drugs, or sometimes we have to open up a new thrombolysis. Other option will be find out the cost for the deep vein thrombosis. There is a thing called Maytaller syndrome, which is the commonest here. That is left vein is affected, left common left vein is thrombosed. In that kind of situation, we can do stenting so that the blood supply to the blood will go back to the lungs for purification. Vascular conditions like exactly as I mentioned during the heart, heart blood vessels, one day two treatment options are either angioplasty, angiogram, angioplasty, early stage. Late stage fully occluded the blood vessel, then you need bypass surgery. The similar thing in the peripheral vascular disease. If it is detected early, the simplest will be a day procedure, you go to a vascular surgeon, they do a angiogram and find out where the obstruction is. They can open it up balloon by a balloon. Opening the balloon will open up the blood vessel that is called angioplasty. If it is necessary, they can put a stent in it to avoid further collapse of the thing. If it is a later stage, exactly what they do in the heart, a similar kind of bypass is needed in the legs, in the intestine, or to the carotid, which is the thing to the uh, which is going to be. The smoking causes a disease called Burgess disease. What happens is it destroys the blood vessels, small blood vessels. The main blood vessel going to the leg will divide into multiple branches, like the tree has branches all over. So this will affect those branches. And what happens is the small blood vessels all clog them, and these patients will develop very bad leg pain and also leg ulcers, which is very difficult. At the later stage. So, the best thing is to avoid smoking and to see a vascular surgeon as soon as possible. Thank you so much, sir.